Uh, this is my trophy room. Do you think she realizes the kind of the magnitude of, of what's going on here? Six months ago, uh, you asked me and I say, um, no, not really, not yet, us. Yeah. And uh, now I think we are. I don't think she's fully, uh, you know, realizes that, you know, she's number one, number two, I mean, one of the best gymnasts in the world. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you just you laugh when he said that. I mean, but it's just, just unbelievable. Well, I just think it's kind of funny. I don't know. It's hard to believe. I mean, it's Sean. <laughs> Do you remember every award in here? Like kind if, of. I just, if I randomly poked at one, would you say, oh, that's from this event this one time? I know. Let's try it. Uh, <laughs> how about this one right here, Purple Ribbon? Iowa State. It was um, the Iowa State Invitational. It was down at Iowa Gymnast. So. Huh? I have to believe you because it's yeah. not. It doesn't <laughs> miss as level 10. Yeah. Right? What's your favorite thing in this room? My favorite thing in this room? I don't know, I never really thought about that. I don't know. I love all my bibs and like numbers and stuff. I just, um, I like this one, number one, one, one. <laughs> so. Is that three golds then, is that what that is? Yeah, I got uh, four out of five gold medals. Do you still get nervous? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But not as nervous as you used to, right? I mean, this no, is not... No, it's still very nerve-wracking. Really? My coach always says that once you, learn, once you lose the nerves, you lose the sport. So what so. are you nervous about when you go out there? Making a mistake. I don't know. You, it's just you work so hard for so long for that competition and to do good, and you don't want to make a mistake. I mean, you know how many hundreds of times you've like hit it and done it perfect and to make a mistake would just be silly and it's nerve wracking. You don't want to fall into like a little dance move or something and stick a perfect like huge skill. So, I don't know. Is everybody normal with you at school or are people Yeah, like... other than being like extremely tall compared to me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, they treat me the same. I mean, every once in a while in the... TV crews and stuff come, they, they're like, that's so cool, but um, they support everything I do. And they're still the best people. How tall are you? I'm 4'9". I'm proud of it. <laughs> I'm proud of these. That's, that's me. I made the cover of that one. When I see, like, Nastia Lucan, which is, like, another top gymnast on a magazine, it's like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. But when it's me, it doesn't feel the same. I don't know. I still think everything's a dream and I never I don't think I'll ever believe that like I'm actually as big and as like accomplished as I actually am. Have you thought at all about what's after all of this? Um every once in a while I do I mean I think about what I want to do like as a career and what I want to do as a sport I mean but ultimately I mean I'm still 15 years old, and it's hard to believe, I mean, because the sport really makes you grow up fast and learn things that you probably wouldn't learn until you're in college and stuff, but um, I don't know. I'll never lose the sport. I mean, gymnastics is my life, and I could never see myself without it, but after the Olympics, I mean, if I make it, um, I see myself doing a lot of other stuff, but... I don't know. I've wanted to coach for so long. I love coaching and stuff like that, but I, I don't know yet. It changes day to day.